Hello friends, myself Ravi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will see how we can implement at the rate output decorator in order to communicate between the components. So without getting late, let's get started. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how we can transfer data from parent component to the child component using at the rate input decorator. In this tutorial, we will see how we can transfer data from child component to the parent component using at the rate output decorator. So in order to transfer the data from child component to parent component, we use at the rate output decorator. Now let's try to implement it in VS code. So here you can see we have this app root component, which is the parent component. And I have already created one component, which is child. That is our child component. So now let's go to app.component.html and call this child component so add app dash child okay now let's go to browser so now you can see the child component content is rendering here right now let's go to our child component and add one button add one click event to this button and name the method as call event okay and now let's try to write this method in this child.component.ts so let's paste that method here Now let's add one alert message to this call event. Let's say welcome to right click. Okay. Now let's also add one event emitter. So let's create one instance of event emitter. So let's name it as event equals to new event emitter. Make sure you import this event emitter from the Angular core. Okay. Now, in order to transfer the data from child component to the parent component, let's use add the rate output decorator and now let's emit this event instance of this event emitter into this call event function now let's remove this and add this dot event dot emit Okay, so what we are trying to do here in this child component, we have created one button. On this button, we are calling one function, which function will try to communicate with the parent component. Okay, and for that, we are using this at the rate output decorator. Right now, let's go to the parent component and try to receive here in the child selector let's add that event that is event equals to greet okay and in the app.component.ts let's add this greet method And let's add one alert and say welcome to right click now if I go to the browser if I click on this button you can see one pop-up comes and the message is welcome to right click click on ok 
again go to your VS code and try to transfer one property data so let's go to our child.component.ts and create one property that is name and let's give the value as Ravi now let's try to transfer this name from this child component to the parent component how we can do that is we can give a parameter to this event okay so let's add this dot name and let's again go to our app dot component dot html and here also let's add one parameter using dollar sign dollar event okay and now let's go to app dot component dot ts here we need to modify this greet method and let's name parameter as name of type string right and this alert should be welcome and let's concatenate this name string okay now let's go to our ui and if we click on this button you can see the text welcome ravi right so we have transferred this name string from the child component to the parent component in this way you can use add the date output decorator to transfer the data from the child component to the parent component so this is how we can transfer the data which has a relationship of parent and child there is also one case where there is no relationship between two components so if one component is independent of another component we can use something like behavior subjects that we will see in upcoming videos that's it for this video if you have any question regarding this tutorial please comment it below i will definitely try to answer it if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks and have a nice day